WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently get all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 268, about three-tenths of a percent. I'm sorry, three-quarters of a percent. The S&P's off 30, six-tenths of a percent. The NDX 100, 173, a little over 1 percent. Russell, 1.4 percent or 31 points. The real question is, have we bottomed for the day? So to try to answer that question, what you and I are going to do is first go take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart out here. In the upper left-hand corner, you've got the ES Mini. We do not have a bottoming pattern inside the ES Mini. Doesn't mean that price won't bounce up to 46.83 or 46.78, but no bottom pattern there. In the NQ, we do. It's a TD9 count bottom. So the levels to be watching here to suggest that a bottom is in for the would be price going ahead and taking out the uh, oscillator and change line. It's at about the 16199, just called 16200 area. If price is able to close above that, then the NQ should make a move to 16340. The Dow just confirmed as we came into the, uh, well, actually it was at 130 that the Dow confirmed a rose momentum indicator bottom. So watch its oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 35,617. If price can move above that, 35,667 is a target, and above that, likely the bottom is in for the day. The Russell 2000, no bottoming signal there, although I probably there's an A to B equals CD, so I would say it has a buy the D point pattern out there. So we've got really two, three of the instruments the NQ on a 30-minute base, the Dow, and the Russell 2000. Of course, that's the December contract. That's fine. I, I don't have time to change that right now to the March contract, but just realize that. So three of the four are suggesting the bottom, but they really need to clear those red oscillator and change lines. Otherwise, uh, no bottom in there. That's a real key level of resistance. If we take just a few moments to go take a look at our indice charts out here, as we normally do, it's just that we do have the potential for a bottom out here intraday, and so I wanted to share that with you. Here's our indice charts out here. The Dow remains a bullish unless price closes below 35,498. That may be where price targets. You can see 35,952. It's TD9. Breakdown resistance level has held a key level of resistance. If price closes above that, it's up to its all time highs. In the case of this SP, price is testing support. It's green oscillator and change line. The NASDAQ is below it, but you can see the sideways movement that we've had out here. Hence, possibly the bottom for the day that is in there. Uh, the Russell 2000 likely going back to tag its lows out there. Hey, folks, stay tuned. David White is up next. Have a magical, marvelous, magnificent Monday. Thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned. Two more great hours are left, and I'll see you back here tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday.